Hey KiwiCo Chan Clan viewers, this is Dan and David uh, reviewing the Eureka KiwiCo pin printing press. This printing press is uh, a Eureka crate for February 2021 that David built, and it is what it is, a printing press that allows you to print out, basically stamp different designs using this uh spring-loaded printing press, paper, ink, markers, all included. We've put out a little cloth just because it can be an inky mess, and we don't want to get this carpet, which has the best lighting in the house, uh, dirty uh, right now, obviously, because it's ink. David's tested this out a little bit, and David's going to jump in and tell us uh, some cool things about this build, introduce us, uh, give us some building tips, and also demonstrate how it works. So, David... Tell us about the KiwiCo Build Your Own Printing Press. I think this one, the printing press was, well, it wasn't my favorite because the pinball machine was, but this one, as you can see, it has more springs than normal, aside from the pinball machine. That one probably had the most, but it's very similar to the riveting machine, other than the fact that instead it has a gray felt on the bottom instead oh, instead of a regular uh forget what's on the riveting but it was a uh, it was just wood but so this i'm pretty sure protects it from the ink and i just enjoyed building it so so what does it do essentially it's uh if you're you just like stamping things it's that's what it does as you can see these are so sh show us one of these stamps like the taco or something like that or the... actually this is backwards because uh -huh. they all stamp so this is the protective coating mm -hmm. they're all stuck on here if you've ever had those window decals yeah, yeah. where you stick them on that's you're kind of reversed right these are. yeah so how do you load one of these on so in order to load one of these on, also, if you're ever going to use these, they come off right off of the water. So that's all you got to do. So if you're going to make some taco design, you can say a, uh, say a... So it's kind of like this, a silicon kind of printout. Yes. All right. So you can have a, a thank you taco or something. Thank you taco. All right. How do you load it so onto this printing press? It, you have the printing card or something it's like that a slide or something yeah there, but yes so what you have to do is attach it on same as like one of those window things a window decal yeah decal so as you can see it's going to be backwards so you can just stick it whatever you want and then you can just flip it around and this is how it's actually going to stamp okay make sure it's fitted the same way as you want it you know, like that yeah and then <clears throat> you actually are going to do, you're going to stamp it down and you're going to press in these so that way it hooks like that. Huh. So it kind of locks it into a working view. Yes. So now what we have are the two screws. You want to put them like this. Um, as you can see, these are here. We're actually in the same one. It's in here. So these uh, just hook it in, prevent it from falling off and causing ink to go everywhere. So we're just going to attach it like this, make sure it faces the right way. Got it. So you're using like rubber bands to attach it on? Yes. Got it. Again, uh, our viewers often ask us the question, does this take glue to put together? No, as you can see, everything is zip-tied zip -tied and some screws and some rubber bands, huh? And personally, I think that this works way better because it's not going to be a sticky, gluey mess if you're going to have to use hot glue or something. Right. And zip ties, I think, are a lot stronger and easier to use. Uh, the problem with these zip ties is that they're a little bit small. Normally, they're like maybe twice the size, the width. But that's okay. Yeah, it looks like you cut off the tails too, is that yes, right? That yeah, that is what you're supposed to do. Um, as it'd be quite an interesting build if there's just zip ties everywhere. So, so now you got some paper? Yes, so all you're gonna do is put in the stamp you want. Okay. 
then you're going to use, they have some paper given to you, but uh, you can just use regular paper or cardstock. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yep, yep. this is cardstock. So put this here. Now we have the ink. Uh, you should be really careful with this because as, as you see, I just put a tiny bit of ink on my finger just because I brushed it. Okay. And that just... So it's just like a big sponge for the ink, yeah? So you are going to hold this part right here. Now this part's kind of worrisome, so... Okay, so you're going to have to actually load the yes. ink sponge into the printing press, huh? Oh, yes. I think the easier way to do it yeah. is to face it upside down, clearly, then... Oh, and then you just slide it into the side here, yeah? Yes. All right. And it's spring-loaded in there, a little higher in the back side. There you go. There we go. So, as you can see, it slides in very nicely. And uh, there's going to be a little bit of space just because the edges are rounded, but that should be fine. Gets kind of messy, like you say, huh? As you can see, my fingers are very ink-stained. As is your leg that you're wiping it on. Okay. okay. At least it's not my shirt. <laughs> All right. Let's, so, let's demonstrate how this works then, yeah? actually how this works. Why don't you do it in slow motion so that we, well, you know, not a total not, press okay. down. Yeah, let's let's so, kind of see what happens as these things. So let's talk this through. I think what's going to happen is that once you release the springs, the uh, mold there or the little silicon shapes are going to go up, get stamped before they flip down and hit the paper, right? Yes. So um, as you can see, you push these in to lock it. And as soon as you push it down, they unlock because they're just holding against here. And okay, just... but right now that hasn't been inked yet, so there's probably nothing that's got stamped. Yep. So but now it went up ink. into the ink. Okay. So I don't know if you can put extra pressure on it, but I like to push it upwards just okay. because if you actually make one, I had a couple. I think I threw them away, but uh, they were very faint just because there wasn't a lot of ink on them. All right. So pushing up, and then you can slowly push Moment down. of truth goes down. You see how that works? All right, smush it. Then you're going to push down hard, otherwise it's not going to be enough. And then you can quickly push it up, otherwise this bottom part might scrape on it and okay. smear the ink. So as you can see... Check that out. This is a thank you taco. That is pretty cool. Thank you taco. And then... Um, and it even has kind of like that ink look it, it's kind of wet right now you can see how uh it's like a stamped look thank you taco so then you could thank you taco write more uh if you position it correctly as you can see on the ink stain that's uh -huh. about where it goes if you put it about in the middle of this let me relock it just like that yeah so, as you can see it stained more, that's why the black felt is there. So then uh, Cubico gave you these markers, hopefully. And uh, it's got a black, a green, a light blue, a yellow, and a pink. You could just use those to- Make your cards? Further make your card, yes. So this is just kind of for fun. Yes. Like we could color the taco. Essentially stuff. all these are, are stamps without the wooden block and then you just attach these and this is the wooden block. So then you can write whatever you want. You can send this to a friend and there's a lot of different uh, designs. You can have a, a wheel. I don't know if that's a pizza or not. You can have a taco, a cake, an, an avocado, an egg, uh, fire, a volcano. <clears throat> even a what's it called a test tube or a beaver with a balloon <laughs> okay uh yeah these are the designs so but then um <clears throat> so you can use whatever combination you want the only limit is that it does have to fit on this otherwise it will not work but guess what this is a like a standard postcard size so the good news is that we can mail this postcard just like this to any place in the country, which 
is our first KiwiCo giveaway opportunity. Leave your comments below. And uh, when our comments reach, arbitrary number, David, how many? 100 comments. 100 unique comments. One lucky commentator will get this very thank you taco postcard with David and my funny faces on it. We will draw them with one of these markers. And if that's not incentive, as a limited edition Cham Clam Kiwi Crate collectible memorabilia, then I don't know what is. Yeah, yeah. Estimated retail value about the price of a first class stamp. So yeah, leave your comments below about this awesome printing press. What do you think about that giveaway, David? Truly priceless, right? Right. Yep. Or you can even have the option of choosing any one of these designs, like flaming taco, volcano, avocado, beaver, light bulb, yay just, cool. Just comment what combination you would like. Right? And maybe you get lucky. So this is pretty cool how they made these. I wish we could make our own. Maybe they could make a kit where we can make your own stamps, your own yeah, stamps huh? Cool. But I think these are just molded with, uh, you know, some preset designs. So the thing is, the cool thing is that you don't need all of these stamps. Um, I'm gonna have the the sheet of the plastic. But so, as I said, if you have the the window, uh, whatever they're called, you can actually stick these on here. I think, and I'm pretty sure they'll work, just because they're made out of the same material. So. If you want to be creative, sure. But, um, I haven't got to try this out because I've been busy, but, um, I tried it out a couple times. My brothers thought it was really cool. I thought it was really cool. I enjoyed building it. Uh, as you can see inside the areas, it's, there's one thing that I had extreme difficulty with, and that was this part right here. All right, pay attention, builders. This is a building tip from David here. Tell us. So it said all of this, yep. but then what actually happened was these got caught on the bottom. So what you can do, I'm pretty sure, is if it's a tiny bit loose, I forgot what to do, but this right here, underneath here sometimes gets stuck so i think you have to bend this part right here backwards first so that way this part slides down second otherwise it gets caught on this bar got it so make sure that the clearance on the inside here is adequate uh, to make sure that this area doesn't get stuck as you uh, probably tighten these areas here you don't want to over tighten to make it too cramped otherwise it, it's going to get stuck and not pop back up again is that what i'm hearing david yes and then one last thing yep. about the actual printing press itself if you're going to take it off i suggest holding this or have someone help you and then pull this part off otherwise what actually happened to me was i tried to pull it off fell on the ground these aren't helpful enough so it actually fell on my table and it kind of stained the table stained we got it off Oh, great. So, hey, heads up. Don't make a mess. Don't make your mom and dad give KiwiCo a call saying this is a messy project. But is it water soluble? The yes. ink? So if ink you washes off? put this in water, it will wash right off. It yeah. will wash right off? Okay, at least the ink is um, sort of water soluble, except it says caution right here. The ink can stain. Be careful with it and wash your hands if you touch it. <laughs> so there's the shout out warning uh they are not liable that's what they said behind the design cards printed and, and tested 300 plus longest time that the team member had an ink mustache without realizing it six hours number of prototypes 12 so another creative design i would never have thought of a printing press in this day and age being something that we're doing you can make your homemade stamps by getting different textures and items just like here that you can do uh like organic plants or little cutouts of moons and jupiter it sounds well, like actually like you said you wish that you could make the stamps you can just by using rubber but i don't know where you, you can do it just using anything 
that you want. Look at that shout out. The thank you taco card. The Chan Clan. Using the markers of KiwiCo. But make sure to cover this up. Otherwise it will dry out like they say in there. And you're going to want to keep this. Otherwise you have to go buy an ink pad. Uh, you, can, you can get actually ink and re-roll your pad. Um, you can also get different colors. I don't... Yep, you can. Yeah. All right, David, thanks for uh, taking us on a tour of the KiwiCo Eureka Crate Printing Press. Uh, shout out to all of you guys who are watching. Again, thank you, Taco. I don't even know what that means, but that's what we printed from the Chan Clan. Leave your comments below. The 100th unique, one of the 100th unique uh, commentators will get this very postcard sent to them or anything of your design choice as long as we can make it with the tools that we have here. You know, we get enough subscribers and likers and commentators. Maybe we will just gift out some of these crates ourselves. So uh, help us reach critical mass. We are subscribed to all of the Eureka KiwiCo product lines. Support our uh, videos and our channel if you like by actually order your own Kiwi crates using our referral link below. If you sign up for a subscription, you'll get uh, either the first month free or at least $10 off your order by using our referral or affiliate link check out all of our kiwi crates uh they come at you monthly uh david has the eureka crate line douglas with the uh tinker crate the uh, maker crate and the doodle crate lines and then lucas with the um gosh the other two uh he has the atlas crate and also the tinker crate oh gosh i think we have everything other than the stuffed animal crates. So um, check out the a la carte options at KiwiCo uh, to see if you can buy one of these. These are not oftentimes available and have to be within the Eureka Crate subscription to get these. But again, the Eureka Crates come at you in random order. So just because we got this in February doesn't mean you missed it. Uh, chances are that if you subscribe to the Eureka Crate, you will get this and also the pinball machine and the other projects that we have uh, received in different rotations or random order all right thanks again for watching the chan clan as we demonstrate and review the eureka crate printing press thanks again for watching taco